Happy New Year, babes. I cannot believe it is 2023 already. Oh my gosh, 2022 flew by fast. This year, new year, new me, new dolls, period. Now, one of my goals this year is to really not let things get to me and destroy me for months. 2022 was definitely a very hard year for me. I was very depressed. I was just not in the best mental state at all. So many good opportunities could have happened that year, but I just tossed everything aside and really just didn't push myself. And honestly, now, since the new year, I know today is January 4th. I'm still having a little issue with that, still a little bumpy start, but things happen and I will get out of this, I'll get better. And if you're like me, whoever just gets sad and just lets things really get to you fast and kind of like not destroy you, but like tear you down, just know that we'll get out of this. We will push ourselves. This is a new year, fresh start. But anyways... How was your guys' Christmas? So, last Christmas, 2021, I had a really great doll Christmas. But unfortunately, this Christmas, I didn't get any dolls. Um, I only got one doll for myself, and I will show you who he is. I'm very excited and very happy that he is in my collection now. I did spend a pretty penny, but I really wanted to show you guys because this is a Monster High video today. I'm facing my Monster High ghouls and my Ever After High dolls, but we need some more Monster High content on my channel. Channel. I also do want to share with you guys that my dad got me a new light set for Christmas So now my videos won't have the ring light. I have this big old light and they come with two But I'm using one because I think two is just a little too much. Never know. As for now, this looks really great No more ring light babes. Now I can show you guys dolls in the box without the stupid ring light showing on the reflection so we're good, we're good. I'm super happy. This thing does get kind of hot. But anyways, let me stop rambling and let me show you the doll that I got myself for Christmas. After I show you guys this doll, I am going to show you guys doll haul. This is what I'm making the video for, duh. But I'm very excited to show you all these Monster High dolls that I got for Christmas. He literally came the day before Christmas Eve, which was so cool. Period. Love that. I got... Mr. Holt Hyde. There is this reflection issue, but it's okay. It's not as bad as the ring light. But I got Holt Hyde. He is brand new in the box. You guys know Holt Hyde is my favorite Monster High boy. And for Holt, I did pay $185 or was it 175 It was either 175 or 185 I don't know. It was around there. Free shipping. He is my favorite, so he was definitely worth it. I normally don't spend that much money on dolls, but there really wasn't a doll on the doll market that I wanted for a good price. So I just said, F it. I'm going to buy a doll that I really have been wanting. I got him in the box. And unfortunately, he does have um, a lot of box damage, um, a lot of holes, which was... Ugh, I'm very upset about that. Hopefully in the future, I will find a much better one in the box and sell this one for the same price or more and keep the one that I found that's in better condition. There was a little issue with him also. He was falling out of the box when he came in the mail, which I was very upset about, so I had to unbox him and re rubber band him. Yeah, it was a struggle, but I've done it before. I have a first edition Draculaura and I fixed her with that um so i kind of a pro with it luckily that came in clutch and i know how to rebox dolls anyways now let me show you these monster high dolls that i got locally um i believe it was two weeks ago it was before christmas i guess these are christmas gifts to myself i don't know but I'm very happy that I have these. So let me show you the ones that I am not keeping. Picture Day Frankie Stein. I actually already have Frankie Stein in the box. He's right next to Laguna. Actually, the one up there is the one that I bought from this lot. And this is my old Frankie. I switched out the Frankies because this one... I just like the newer Frankie that I got. The face looks better. The bangs look better. I think at the time, I paid $20 for my Frankie. But... In this lot, 
I paid $2.50. So this one used to be my collection and now I am letting her go. From this line, I really do want Operetta and Cleo. That's the, that's the only two that I need. Unfortunately, I cannot find those two for a great price. It really sucks. I will find them this year, especially Operetta because that is my favorite Operetta babes and I cannot find her for a decent price. This is Casta Fierce. Casta Fierce is not really one of my favorite dolls. I do have her... Um... Can you guys see her? She is right here. I've had Casta in the box like three times already. And I have sold every single one. And... I don't know why she just comes back to me in the box and I do not want her. <laughs> so yes, I will be selling her. Next, the doll that I am not keeping is Music Festival Claudine. Now, I got this doll last year for Christmas from my old doll friend. Where is she? Do you guys see her? Yes, you do. Right there. <laughs> yeah, so I already have her. My friend at the time got me her, and so there is no point of me having her, especially in the box. I personally don't like keeping smaller inbox dolls in the box. The only small box doll that I have is Skull Shore's Black and White Frankie. That is because I do not have room to unbox her, because look at all this. This line is huge, and if, whenever I get Gil, I'm going to have to, like, remove a lot here. So, yeah, kind of a struggle. But... Um, this Claudine is really pretty. So with my Claudine, she is actually missing the original hand and the earrings. But I am literally not going to unbox this doll just to take those two accessories. If I ever come across one at like a flea market out of the box, I'll just, you know, buy that and use it. I'm not going to unbox a brand new doll just because mine's missing stuff. I used to do that, which was very stupid. But now, no. I'm just going to sell this and wait patiently for the earring and the right hand. But now we're going to go to the dolls that I am keeping. But I also did get three other dolls from this lot that I that I did sell already. So I got two Fred's Camera Action Cleos in the box, of course. I already have Cleo. She is down here. She's down there. And I also got Dance Class Rebecca Steam. Here is Rebecca Steam. She is so gorgeous. But I already have her. Unfortunately, my Rebecca Steam is missing the headband, but it's not like I'm going to take this doll just for the headband, you know. She's going to go to a good home. I still need her right now, you know. Now, my dance class Rebecca Steam is missing the headband. She's been missing it for freaking ever. But like I said, I'm not going to unbox a brand new doll just to get that one accessory. But um, yeah, I did get those three and I did sell them. So I did kind of make some of my money back a little bit. Um, So that's really good. This doll I have been wanting for a really long time. I used to have this doll when I was a kid. When I was in my in denial phase when I was like 16 or 17. Sold all my childhood dolls. This was one of the dolls that I sold. I got her for Christmas in like 2013. And ever since I sold her when I was like 16, I have been on the hunt for her for a good price. I did keep my original uh, doll's accessories. Like I have the earrings and stuff and I now I don't really need them anymore because I have her in the box. So this is art class Rebecca Steam. I don't really have that many Rebecca dolls. I only have first edition and then I have dance class. And is that it? That's literally it. <laughs> yeah. I'm really happy to have her in my collection. Again. Reunited. What really sucks is that, like, of course I'm super happy to get dolls in the box, right? I am an inbox collector. But when you want a doll out of the box, but you get it in the box, it kind of, kind of sucks. Because, like, inbox dolls just take up a lot of room. Like, look at this, babes. Up there are all inbox dolls, and I have no room to put Holt. So, he's just out right there. <laughs> I am gonna have to make like room for more box dolls, but um, I hope in the future I find her complete out of the box and I'll sell this one. But as for now, she's still in my collection, but I do hope to get her out of the box so I could just sell this one. I will not be unboxing it. A lot of my TikTok followers said, oh, just unbox her, like what the heck? No, babe, I will not unbox my dolls unless I really want to. This one does have a kind of messed up face. Her eye on one side, let's see, is kind of like bigger than the other, so it's not really one of my favorite paces. I'll I'll find her out of the box. I know I will. I, I always do. I always find the dolls that I that I want. It's all about patience, babes. Alrighty, the next three that I'm gonna show you is 
Oh my gosh, this is so weird. I was giving a Christmas list to my parents and I really wanted these dolls. When I looked on the eBay and Mercari prices, they were like 40, 45, 50. Like they're freaking budget dolls. Like why are they so expensive? And then come to find out, I saw this doll lot and I got not only Draculaura, I got Howling and Cleo. I'll show you guys them individually, but let me show you Draculaura. Yeah, I really, really wanted Creepateria. Usually for like Christmas gifts with dolls, I tell my family members to get me the budget dolls and now like all of a sudden they're like 40 freaking dollars. Like that ain't no budget doll no more. <laughs> At the time they were like 12 to 15 dollars. I am so happy to have them in my collection. I used to have Howleen as a kid and I'm happy to have her again. Did really want Cleo and Draculaura. So that is super, super cool. I really don't know if I'm going to unbox these. I guess they're so common out of the box. I don't think I am. That's like one of the struggles. But then it's like, since they're budget dolls, like most of the time they are missing accessories. So I am mean, I'm not too sure. The boxes on these dolls look really good. That's why I don't want to unbox them. But I, I don't know. I am still debating. They're just dolls, you know, but still, I don't want to box them. So here's Helene. Her face is pretty messed up. One eye is bigger than the other. All right, it's her eyelashes that are the issue. This one has eyelashes and this one doesn't. Usually a lot of Helene dolls have that issue, which is weird, but I love Helene with her pink hair. I do miss her orange hair. This pink is such a gorgeous pink. And Miss Cleo. Ooh, girl, her bangs are messed up. Look at those bangs. I guess maybe I should have the camera like this, huh? Maybe I will have it like this. That does the same thing. Sorry, just adjusting. Cleo is really pretty and I'm really happy to have her in my collection. I asked you guys on my Instagram if I should unbox these and most of you guys said no. I am gonna trust you guys. <laughs> zombie Shake, Rochelle, and Venus. Luckily, I do have Zombie Shake, Meality, and Persephone down there. Most of these dolls are down here. I don't know why, but they are so pretty. I, okay, off topic, but I am so excited for the new Collector Rochelle doll. I'm so excited for her. I do not like her hair though. I wish they did the side pony, but anyway. This box was squished, unfortunately, but I did pop it back out. That's why I wanted to unbox them because their faces were squished a little bit. Venus does have a little like nose mark on it. Can't really tell on camera. You kind of can. And Rochelle's bangs are all squished. That kind of bothers me, but it's not really a big issue. The box itself is still really good condition. Not really like a bad issue at all. Just this plastic dent. I'm not really that much of a picky collector, but I wanted to unbox them because why not? I can't unbox these. I mean, of course I can, but I prefer not to because there's probably someone out there who wants these in the box and I want them out of the box. <laughs> <laughs> really, really pretty. I wish they had more dolls from the Zombie Shake line. Gorgeous line. I don't know which one to show you for the end, but I guess I will show you. Doesn't really matter. Here is I Heart Fashion Wydona Spider. She is so pretty! Yeah! I do have Wydona out of the box right there. I personally don't want her in the box. No, I mean, of course I'm gonna keep her, but I do really want to trade her or hold on to her and buy another I Heart Fashion doll and then sell this one to get the money back. So from I Heart Fashion, I really want Frankie and I Heart Fashion dolls go for a lot of money and Frankie is my dream I Heart Fashion doll. So I do hope I can find her for a good price and then sell this one because I know I'm not gonna keep this doll for a long time. I'm just being real with y'all. I am not going to keep her. I'm keeping her for now. Not really preference of mine to keep her if I really want another doll from this line. Now from this line, I have Claudine, that is incomplete, Abby, incomplete, Wydona, Iris, Scara, and I think I only need Wisp, Cleo and Frankie. And of course I need to complete the other two. Wydona is still great to have in the box. Like this is so cool. This box is like in perfect shape also. I cannot believe the woman that I bought this from like just held these on for years. Um, She said they were for her daughter but her daughter grew out of them and she just sold me these for great price. I already have this doll. I'm not really like whoa. 
you know, but it's still really cool to have an iHeart Fashion doll in the box. I never thought I'd ever have one. And if I can't find a Frankie in or out of the box for a good price, then I'll just hold on to this. <laughs> really really cool but anyways now the last doll that i got i was like what i know she's not that special but she's still really pretty we were speaking about rebecca earlier now i got another rebecca this is coffin bean coffin bean i only have venus now where is coffin bean venus okay my coffin bean dolls are down here i did have which way is my thumb going? <laughs> what the heck? Where'd she go? Okay, you can't really see her. Oh, yeah, you can. There's Venus. Um, I did used to have Twyla, but I did sell her because she was incomplete. She's the last one that I need from this line. But Rebecca is so pretty. Actually, no. I need the other Coffin Bean ones. I need Coffin Bean Frankie, Horlai, Abby. But from this, this, the three, I just need Twyla. <laughs> Look how pretty. I'm really happy to have her in my collection. This artwork is so pretty of her. Loves it. Lovey, love, love. Now, the last thing that I did get from this lot is a set that I don't want. But it's still really cool to have. Let me go get it. So this is what I got, babes. This is the Freaky Fusion Catacombs. I personally don't collect Monster High sets, dollhouse sets. This is something that I unfortunately cannot fit in my collection. I'm unfortunately going to have to sell this and give it to a good home. I think it's really cool. I used to want this as a kid, but unfortunately I just can't. I have no room for this at all. Ooh. Oh my gosh, my soul just left my body <laughs> <gasps> anyways so this is how it looks <sighs> but anyway but anyways babes thank you guys so much for watching happy new year i really hope just this year is a lot better than last year there's gonna be so many opportunities for me and for you guys of course i'm really happy that you guys stuck with me through the whole 2022 journey and i just appreciate all of you so much thank you babes happy new year have a great day Bye. By the way, we're so close to 2,000 subscribers. Ooh, I'm so excited. I'm very excited. I cannot believe we're almost to 2K already. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Ah.